So hey guys, this is your girl Miss Motivation coming at you with a video. Today we are going to do a little something something and I believe it's going to be good and you'll really enjoy it if you would like to try it. But before we get into the video, let me just say, if you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell on the side to get notifications of every video that I put up for you. And um, leave a comment, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, if you can find that. And um, let me know if you liked the video, if um, you think the content was good, uh, if I could have did better, leave a comment. Just let me know something. Leave a smiley face, a heart if you're not able to write a sentence or a paragraph. That's okay. But if you really enjoyed it, please just let me know. Share this video with somebody. Um, this is going to be a very good video, I believe. And it's um, healthy, nutritionist, and it's for two different type of people. So let's get into it. All right. So today we are going to do a little vegan dish. We are going to do a um, shellless taco made, and this is vegan. Uh, I am using Life Light Life. <laughs> smart ground it's meatless ground beef so it's not ground beef it's just meatless but I just want to call it ground beef because it looks like a little thing of ground beef so we're going to just open that up and first thing first I already have my skillets on here getting hot I'm adding olive oil to my skillet and in this little skillet that I have. I definitely need that. And I'm gonna need a spoon. I'm gonna need a spoon. So how are you guys doing today? I hope that you had a good day. I did. Took my um my um stepdaughter today. We took her to dinner for her birthday and got her a few little gifts. Hopefully she enjoys them. I'm sure she does. But she's easy to please. So I'm throwing that in my skillet. And mm, I got a container of chives. We need to cut this down, honey. Onions. And it's got carrots and celery in it. So I'm going to put quite a bit of that in there. And give it a stir. Yeah, see, my skillet is hot. And they're like, girl, I don't know what you're waiting on, but, uh, you know. I'll throw some down in this skillet as well. Cook your veggies. Cook them up. So, in that skillet, I got. So this is what you're going to need for this dish if you want to do it. You're going to need your meatless ground, some cauliflower, some onions, celery and carrots, a little bowl of tomatoes, <laughs> some black olives or green, whatever you prefer, minced garlic, and zucchini. And I haven't cut that yet, so I better because it's far I ain't playing. It's hot. So, we're going to get these cut up, put them in my little bowl, you know, like I'm a chef or something. I got extra lighting on this video, so hope it's not too light. Hope it's not too light. Okay. So, we got this together. Get those caramelized. And we're going to throw our cauliflower on there. And, ready. and so before I throw this meat in there, I'm going to put up just a little bit more oil, probably like a tablespoon. That is it's caramelized good. Put that heat back up. 
So we got another skillet going. And the reason why I got two different skillets is because I'm going to put the cauliflower over there because it's a little bit tougher than everything else. So you got to be wise. Think about what veggies you got and how long they need to cook. You don't want to put them with something that cooks up fast because I don't want them mushy. I don't want my zucchini mushy because my cauliflower takes longer to cook. So we're going to cook that first in that one skillet. And then after I get this meatless ground cooked, then I'm going to throw the zucchini in there with the ground because that's not going to take, like I said, long at all. So I got that chopped up. We stir these. And they all caramelized. Okay. Now we're going to put our ground beef in here. And uh, I did not get my lid. Dang. Not my ground beef, but you know, my veggie ground, honey. Ooh, oh, I'm going to turn my skillet up. Isn't that crazy? Well, yeah, I should have did it by hand before I threw it in there. Very easy. By the way, guys, if you have not tried this, if you didn't see my other video where I made um, spaghetti with this, then you need to check it out. The ground is all that. Now, the meatballs, didn't care for them at all. Uh, they taste like they had... Um, the bonzo meal and the actual bean in it. So it was just a little bit too much for my taste. I don't need all that, you know, the bonzo beans and all that, you know. I need all of that. But, so we got our ground going. And of course, that's not enough onions. So I'm going to add some more. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of tomatoes. Tomatoes. And that's tomatoes and habanero. So it's going to be a little bit, this is going to add some spice. A little spice to my life. Uh oh. I'm throwing it all out the skillet. And we're just going to put it on back in there, honey. Now, that one's done. So we're going to throw this uh, cauliflower in that skillet. We got to get that going. Get that mixed around and let that cook up. Let this cook up. It's looking good. It looks like I got plenty of veggies up in there so far. And definitely want to add a little bit more garlic in both. Not too much, but you know. Y'all know me. Anybody watch my videos, y'all know I love spice. I love seasoning. I love anything that's going to make the dish flavorful. So we're going to put that in the sink. And we're getting this zucchini. Because it up. Now, I am going to get my lid after I get this situated. And what I'm going to do in this ground is add a little bit of water because uh yeah <laughs> once you see once you uh cook it you're gonna see that you're gonna need to add a little bit of water put some juiciness a little bit of juice yeah and it don't take much but remember, this is not hamburger beef, so you're not. It's not going to make its own oil and all that. This is a pot full of vegetables over here. It just looks like it might be something other than what it is. Wet it down, and since that's going the way I want it, we're going to add a little bit of water in it with the cauliflower. I need this caramelized honey. Yes. Just a little. And I'm going to go on and throw my dry seasoning in there. And what I call dry seasoning is like, it's got garlic, red peppers, um, onion, minced onions, um, a little bit of salt, paprika, 
and red pepper. So let's, you know, you know, add a little spice to it too. Then we're going to put some chives in the cauliflower. I'm going to throw some in my, my ground. Might throw a little bit more later. Some thyme in both. Black pepper in both. Salt with seasoning. This is this one has garlic, orange peel, black pepper, citrus, um, dang, citrus, uh, parsley, and lemon oil. So we're gonna add quite a bit of this one in now. <laughs> Italian seasoning. I put all my dry. All, not all of it, but you know, most of them. I'm just, you know, the girl likes to taste spice. So, now, in the cauliflower, I am going to add turmeric. I'm going to add lemon pepper over here. Get that citrus zest off. Zing, zing. A little bit of onion powder. You know I've got onions in there. There ain't nothing wrong with a little extra. Okay. So, this is looking good. Smelling good. It's not going to be too done, but it's, going, it's still going to have like a little bit of bite to it. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and add my zucchini. I cut everything up because I didn't want you guys to have to deal with that. I hate watching a video and it's got a whole lot of noise. Sometimes, you know, I can stand if it's for a short amount of time. And if it's somebody I really like watching, then I won't mind it. Because I'm just like, okay, girl, now, you did a little bit too much with that blender today. I might leave a little message and then be like laughing. And then on the next video, you know there's less blendage. If you got good YouTubers that actually get back with you, I try to make that my priority. If you leave me a message, I'm definitely going to try to get back with you. Or a comment is what I meant. Now, let's see. Mmm. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Cauliflower is tasting good. And the last time I had this. Uh 
Oh, shoot. I washed my hands. Now, I feel like that really isn't enough olives, but so I might do some more. Definitely don't have enough seasoning. So, I'm going to go in with my New Orleans seasoning salt. I don't know what it is about this, but I love it. All right, and this little bad boy is done. So I'm taking it off. What you see it. Orange, orange. Onions caramelized. Cauliflower is just right. Oh my goodness. I was right on the money, honey. Right on the money, honey. It was right on the money, honey. <laughs> I know. I know, y'all. Don't laugh at me. And with this really, well actually, let me see, because I don't think I used it up, I almost probably took my that I didn't, but you don't want to do too much, which I don't even see it in here. My chicken broth, I was going to put a little bit in there instead of keep adding water, which if you know how to season, then it shouldn't affect your dish. You should be able to taste your seasoning. Water. For people that don't know how to season, it might get your dish a little bland. And this isn't bland, so thank goodness. It's packed with a lot of a lot of goodness. And you always taste your food because you definitely want to know, make sure it's seasoned well. You can taste the season, the flavors. If you can't, then you know you didn't do enough. So that's why it's very, very important. Now, there's only one person that I did not put in that, and that is Mrs. Dash, because I was saving her for last, and my paprika. So, I'm going to put these up. I might put a little bit more of this. This got a little bit of red pepper, so I want that spice. Paprika. <laughs> My Mrs. Dash. All right. Uh oh, baby is looking good and it's looking like it's almost ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to let that cook for a little bit longer. And then we're going to get dig into these tacos, baby. Aren't you ready? Mm. Mm -hmm. Going to throw this on in there. And what we're going to do back here. That burn is already on. Touch it over. Touch it. Touch it. Just attach. Oh, yeah. That's when you really get to see it. We got a touch of oil going on back there. I'm going to scoot this back over here so you can see my face and my swollen stomach. Yeah, yeah.
All right, it got too quiet. Ain't nobody saying that. And what's going on? Huh? <laughs> what is going on? How was your day today? Did you do anything special on this Sunday? If you did, let me know. Put it down in the comments. If you had a good Sunday meal, let me know in the comments. If you thought I was doing too much in this video, let me know in the comments. <laughs> now don't get smart. Don't be foolish. But, yeah, let's keep it positive. But, you know, in a playful mode, you can say whatever. Just be positive with it. My girl, I love I was trying to watch the video, get the recipe, but you was just doing too much. And I'll be like, you know what? Maybe you was right. Next time I'll do a little bit less. <laughs> but I won't stop. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Depending on what, you know. It just depends. Okay, okay. Mmm, yes. Now, it's getting what I want it to be, and it's seasoned. It's seasoned just right, baby. Just need a little bit more. This is Dash. I don't know what it does, but it, it, mmm. We need it all. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. And it's so good, I just want to keep tasting it. You know, when something's so good, you done tasted it to death, and then by the time it's time to eat it, you can't eat it because you done tasted your food to death, and then you ain't hungry? Yeah. That's me sometimes. Like, Lord, what was I thinking? But, while we are here, I'm going to fix me a cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? A cup of coffee. And I'm going to sip my coffee while I'm talking to you. So i got to move this back once again so the lighting may go down, guys. Don't get alarmed. Oh, definitely. Definitely. Ginger. Wish I had minced our ginger paste. That would just set it off. Really. Mmm, and that smells good. Oh, and then light a little bit of ginger. Now this is done. We're taking this off. Mm-hmm. Should have been done had that lid out. Nothing is ever what it really seems. And sometimes we just don't do what we're supposed to do. Now that is still on. I'm not trying to get myself burnt. Are you kidding? I just got tomatoes in that skillet going just a little bit because I'm going to throw them in there. I'm going to throw them in the skillet with the other side. Hmm. Am I trying? 
ripping or what? I don't see anything up here without a lid. What is the problem here? Something ain't right. Something isn't right. So I got something setting somewhere else. I don't see the lid for this. And the what in the Okay, so I'm tripping. I lost the lid to a spice. Oh, I'm tripping for real. You know, I was thinking of. Uh, never mind. I was thinking a, a different lid goes on that, but <laughs> evidently not. I'm going to tell you what. smoke. I'm glad I don't. Because, you know, I'm already crazy enough without it, honey. Yeah, I know, guys. I used the fork. I did that for a reason. Oh, it's delicious. Delicious. <clears throat> so, we're going to get our plate out. Yes. Okay. And the last thing that you would need for this <clears throat> is, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, butter lettuce. Now, this is your taco shell your tortilla, or whatever you want to call it, okay? And you can lay it like this, or you can actually use it and make your shell, which that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably lay his on the plate and let him eat it. And I like these because they already like you know easy to handle type thing. And I'm gonna go and show you guys what we working with and how we work and did it so you can do it, honey. Okay. So mama's gonna have three. Yes, she is. Let me see what side I'm gonna use. Let me do this for video purposes. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put the skillet over here. Yes. And remember I had that fork. I did it for a reason. I could use it. Hmm. I could just do a big spoon maybe. Now, you can get the other lettuce and it's crunchier. This, if you like tortillas, these are good. They're nice and kind of soft, but still have a little, you know. So 
of them. All right. So we got one made up. I'm going to let you see what I'm working with and how I'm working with it. All right. So we got one right here. Mmm. 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 Mm-hmm. You don't really need nothing else. I just threw some spicy guacamole on her. Mmm. You talking about delicious? See how it ain't even falling apart? Mm-hmm. Mmm. 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 You absolutely, positively, don't know what you're missing. You don't wouldn't even think you're missing meat because I'm telling you, you cannot tell. This stuff right here is amazing. I mean, I'm exploring this stuff because I've really been thinking about, oh, becoming a vegetarian. But I want to be educated and I want to be able to make and come up with meals i don't want to do it on a whim and then not really know what i'm doing you know so i'm already exploring different stuff seeing what i like seeing what i don't like seeing what tastes close to what i'm used to and um yeah so that's what i'm doing but even if i can't go full time which there's no such thing as can't but even if i decide not to go full time with being a vegan I have been thinking about doing it for a couple of days Amir you want some um, shellless tacos another bite Guys, you can even add egg in this dish if you want it. For those that absolutely have to have some kind of meat, you can add bacon bits to spice it up, give it some flavor. Um, you know, a real life flavor for those that are not vegans, of course. And um, those that just absolutely have to have meat, I can see this done with chicken, turkey, whatever. You want guacamole on top? Yes. A little guac guac. There you are, son. some water. Mm. Just pick it up. Mm. 
very simple. Mmm, it's good. I don't have my big cup today. But now that I'm thinking about it, y'all might make me travel to the store and go get me one. Mm. What do you think, son? It's what? Let YouTube know. Okay, let's get up close and personal. Oh. Uh. <laughs> and what do you think about them, son? Come on, they're waiting. It's good. You enjoy it? Yes, ma'am. How's the flavors? Delicious. <laughs> He's a little nervous. <laughs> It's okay. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not nervous at all. All right, one more. It's really hard to stop. These are really, really good. Oh. So, if you want an extra little kick, new flip cat. A little bit of Hidden Valley Chipotle. Since you know it's meatless, you don't have a lot of fat going on. You know, give yourself a little bit. And let's see how this tastes. I should have added that at first. I'm mad. I'm mad about that. Mmm, my goodness. I think I'm gonna go get some more of this brown. I can definitely do these again. Mmm. I could do these again. So guys, I'll leave everything down in the description box. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, please subscribe. Please hit the bell on the side for notification. Leave me a thumbs up for this video if you find that the content was good. If you didn't like it and I was doing too much, leave that in the comment. I want you to leave whatever. I need you to leave it. And share the video if you feel like, you know, a vegan that hasn't tried this. They must try it. Somebody new to dieting, somebody starting a new journey, a healthy lifestyle. Send this, repost it. Tell them to subscribe to me. Okay? Subscribe. That's all I ask. Well, and hit the bell on the side. Okay? Love you guys. This is Miss Motivation. I'm out. See you in the next one.